Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Shark Ion Robot Vac. I hadn't seen all that many reviews on this, uh, so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my two cents from my experience and let you know what I thought about it. Uh, I should mention too that I actually found a pretty good deal on it, and uh, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check that deal out. So when this first came out, it was a pretty expensive robot vac that they've recently dropped the price on. Uh, not because it's not any good, but I think they just have to compete as all these robot vacuums are getting cheaper and cheaper. There's just so much competition uh, right now for them, and uh, they just did recently drop the price uh, to be more competitive. Now on that note, uh, I believe, I think for the price it's at now, it's the best one out there as far as quality, features, and just the way it works. And I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, now. Now the first thing to note about this robot vacuum is it does automatically clean, dock, and recharge, but it doesn't have, it's just a randomized pattern. It doesn't um, have like a thing where it maps your house. It's not a mapping one. Those are typically quite a bit more expensive. However, it does have a really good navigation mode, I've found. It does dodge obstacles a lot. It really does clean very, very well. And, and that's kind of one thing I was really surprised about this one is uh, I had, uh, I'm coming from like a Dyson uh, animal upright vacuum. And this thing honestly cleans as good, if not better, dare I say better, than my Dyson did. Very, very good cleaning. I vacuumed an area, a whole room actually, with my Dyson, and then I let this thing run in it for about an hour, and it picked up more stuff, and the carpet to me looked like it was more fluffed, uh, and I have pretty short um, carpeting too, and it, and it fluffed it up more than my Dyson did even, which I was really shocked, because I thought there's no way that this thing's going to work better or be more powerful than my Dyson was, but honestly, in in... In my opinion, it, it is. Another nice thing about this one too is it works with the Alexa. So um, you can use it right through your smartphone's app, you can schedule through it, and you can voice command it all too. So if you have the Amazon ecosystem uh, in your house, you'll probably really like the Shark. Now you don't need it to operate it at all. Uh, it, it has its own app, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about any of that at all. Uh, but it is a nice feature to have like say you're upstairs or something like that and you want it to clean you can just say you know hey Alexa you know clean for an hour and it'll go do its thing and then come back so it is nice to have it's also really low profile too which is good because it can go underneath your sofas and underneath your beds uh, which is if you if you've never had a robot vacuum before it's really really nice to have it be able to go under your sofas and beds not because like it's so important to have that area clean, but it is, but not what you're thinking. The reason is because it really eliminates the amount of dust in your house. A lot of dust collects underneath your beds and sofas. So every time you sit on it, it fires dust into the room and it just makes everything dusty. I've noticed like I, I don't have to dust near as often now uh, after I've had this thing because it cleans all the dust and stuff underneath your beds and sofas. But yeah, anyway, I think this thing works really good. It doesn't ever get stuck. Uh, it has a really good cleaning al algorithm in it. Um, pretty smart. And I definitely get this over like your eight or $900 Roombas any day. So if you guys have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.